guys. Uh, welcome back to BJ's Workshop. So today we're going to be working on the 2009 uh, Toyota Corolla. Uh, recently we've developed a little bit of a clunky noise in the front end, which I believe is going to be the front sway bar bushings. So I've gone to my local Toyota dealer uh, because I do like to use factory parts. And we picked up some new uh, sway bar bushings. I'll show you the part number. All right, so uh, some of these vehicles are different. Some are pretty easy to do. Some of them are very difficult. You have to drop the subframe. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it up on uh, jack stands. We're going to get the wheels off and take a look at where these are actually located. So we'll know what we're up against. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll get into it. Okay, so when you jack it up, you want to make sure you uh, put some chocks behind the back wheels, put the emergency brake on, uh, get the front wheel off. And this is your sway bar link here. Um, connects to the sway bar which is right there and then the sway bar bushings are right there so there's a couple of bolts that holds it onto the top of the framework there we got to get those bolts off uh, but what we got to do is take this um, end of the link off so that way the bar will drop down and kind of wiggle around a little bit uh, free it up so we're gonna uh, put some spray lubricant now these bolts have an allen key in the middle of them so if you try to take the nut off and it doesn't want to come off uh, you can hold it with an allen key in case the uh, the piece in the middle starts to spin on you so uh, we'll spray these up we'll loosen them up get those bars out and then we'll see about tackling the uh, bolts for the bushings all right so this nut is a 19 millimeter i'm going to try to use my air gun see if this will zip right out for me It came out most of the way, but it looks like it's stuck at the end. So I'm going to grab an Allen key. We'll stick it in the middle there and finish it off with a wrench. Okay, so this is a 5 millimeter. Okay, if you don't have a 19 millimeter, you can also use a three quarters. So uh, you can see I'm just kind of bracing this key over here just to hold it in place, and then we're just going to spin that off of there. So let me get that off, and we'll move on. Okay, once you get that nut off, then you just want to take this and tap it out of the way. All right, now that's going to free up the sway bar for you. All right, so next we got to dig down deep in there and see if we can get those uh, bolts loose holding the bushings on. Okay. Uh, if you go straight down in there, you're going to see the, the front bolt, which I'm actually able to put a 12 millimeter ratchet on here. So that one's going to come off fairly easy. Uh, I just got to see uh, how difficult it's going to be to get the back one off. So let's get this front one out of here. Okay, this back one's going to be a little bit more slow and tedious. Um, you can see uh, we got the subframe here. And if you look right on the top of the subframe, you're going to see the bar right there and then you can see where I have the wrench so um, it's just going to be little by little working that bolt loose and then we got to go to the other side and take that one out all right so once you get those back bolts out um, then the bar will be loose you can see there's your bushings right there all right, so those back bolts are kind of a pain in the butt uh, you can see the two holes uh, where they thread in and um, very little room in the back so you just like little by little by little make sure you spray some penetrant on there to help ease up the threads because they're, they're very tight and uh, you gotta use a lot of finger strength to uh, get those bolts out but now we got this loose so let me uh, see if I can pop that bushing off of there and then we'll get the new one installed okay so at this point it's pretty easy uh, you just take this metal bracket off and then we took the old bushing out now if you look at the bushings you can see the old one is actually a little bigger than the new one so you can tell it's been wearing out and elongating 
uh, which is probably what was causing the clunking noise. So we're just gonna take the uh, new bushing, pop it back on there, try to line up the bracket again, and then uh, re-thread it in there. All right, I'm gonna take off the other one first um, before we start bolting them back in. I did put a little bit of light um, grease on the inside of the uh, bushing just to keep it lubricated. Uh, sometimes when they're dried out, they'll squeak. Uh, so we wanna keep that moving freely. All right, let me get on the other side. All right, so at this point, we have the bushings in. Uh, what I'm going to suggest is when you put them in, put the back bolt in first. Because if you put the front one in first, it's going to be tilted up and it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to get that bolt started. So start the back one, run it down a few threads so it grabs good. Then start the front one, run that down a few threads. And then tighten down the back one. And I was able to get an air ratchet up on the front one uh, to run it down a little bit quicker. Uh, and then finish it off with the ratchet. But the, uh, the real pain in the butt about this whole job is these back bolts you can't really see them but that one there and then the one on the other side um, very tight to get in there uh, you got to use a wrench and just like centimeter by centimeter just keep turning it turning it turning it until it finally comes out um, like I say that's the worst part you know you got to crawl up underneath here and uh, you know if you got a lift then obviously it's a lot easier but if you're like me, uh, you don't have the luxury of having a lift. So everything has to be done at home in the garage. Fortunately, I do have a garage where I can do this. Um, but the bushings are in there now, and hopefully that solves the clunking noise that we're hearing. Uh, the only other thing we got to do now is just put these nuts back on here, tighten those down, uh, and then put the wheels back on, and that should complete this job. All right, guys, uh, if you're thinking about doing sway bar bushings on the front of your Corolla, that's what's involved. Um, just got to take that nut off, take the two bolts out of the, uh, the bushings, and then uh, put them back in. So it's not a lot involved. It's just kind of a pain in the butt trying to get to everything. So. All right, guys. Hope that helps you out. Um, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, a share, a like. Um, good luck, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.